Hey YouTube, if you've landed on this video, yeah, you might be familiar with Shopify or the algorithm spit you out here. Um, either way, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to pull Shopify data into something like Google Sheets. Um, and how would we do that exactly? Well, I'll introduce you to a tool called API Connector, and you can get a copy of this tool by heading over to mixedanalytics.com. And once you navigate to the website, you can get a copy of API Connector from the main page. I already have it installed, so I don't need to go through the process. Uh, to get to API Connector, once you've installed the add-on, you can access it by clicking Add-ons, API Connector, and then just opening. Once you're inside API Connector, you're able to now add API requests and have them pull the data directly into Google Sheets. Uh, now, if you're an owner of a Shopify shop and you're wanting to maybe pull in some customer data or product data, I'll show you how to do that right now. Let's first start by logging into our shop. Um, so I have just like my own sample shop, my OJ stand, I sell orange juice and paintings. Once you're at the home screen, you will need to generate an API key in order to establish a secure connection between Shopify and Google Sheets through API Connector. To do this, we'll want to click here on the sidebar, apps, and then I'll show you how to create your own. I already have one. You'll want to go down here to manage private apps, and then you'll want to say create a new private app. Wow, this is slow. So once you're at this screen, uh, we can just go ahead and give our private app name something like API Connector. It's fine. Um, and then you can probably just skip the email. Um, Webhook API is not important. You'll want to say allow this app to access your storefront using the storefront API. For this case, I'll just go ahead and open up all of these. Why not? Um, and then once we click save, it says you're about to create a David app, blah, blah, blah. So just go ahead and hit create app. Damn, this is slow. Oh, so we do need to put in an email after all. Um, I'm going to put mine in and not show you. So I'll skip this. Okay, once you do it, let's try again. So I put in my email. Wow, this is taking forever. All right, uh, that didn't work. So that's okay. This is part of the development process. Don't panic if this kind of thing happens. Just read the bug and move on. Um, so it's asking for some admin permissions. So probably we'll want to at least open up access for now to read access for customers. Um, we'll also want to get inventory. And then, I don't know, what's another useful one? Orders. So I think, if again, if you need to go back and get some of these other ones later, you can activate these as needed. Um, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then once you've got those, we'll try to create again, see what happens. Okay. So we are in. We're good to go. So let's head back over to our apps. And so the one I just created is called API Connector. Um Perfect. So we have got our API key. So now we can start pulling in some data. God, this is so slow. Is it slow for y'all too? So what we'll do now is let's just start by basically getting all of the orders in your shop. So if I open this over here in a new tab, we can see that I have a bunch of orders. I have some stuff payment pending, blah, blah, blah. And so say, for example, I want to get this over in my Google Sheets. Let's start by adding a new request. And then what we'll want to do here is start creating our API URL path. Um, Shopify's API documentation is not the clearest that I've worked with before, uh, but thankfully Anna has put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into a wonderful Shopify data uh, documentation article. So I highly recommend going to this website to use it. It's much simpler. Um, I'll attach it in the description below. But basically what we want to do is we'll want to get a base URL. So the, the structure is going to follow roughly this format. Um, so back over in API connector, we can paste that in and then shop name, you should replace it with whatever it is. Mine is the OJ stand. Um, and then to get order data, we're going to want to append this endpoint, the admin API 2021-04 orders, so forth, onto the end of our API URL path, just like this. So you ha should have more or less this with the name changed. Um, and then additionally, we'll need to include the API key. So in order to use our API key, we're going to have to include a header inside of our request. So we'll do that by grabbing the X Shopify access token header like this. 
um, and pasting that here in headers where it says key. And then for the value, we can go back to our OJ stand uh, API. And then what we'll want to do is grab the password here, actually. And so you'll copy that, copy that password, and then we'll paste it over here as our value instead. And then we'll hit save and run. Beautiful. There's all my orders. Wonderful. Okay. Um, so one thing to note by default, um, the Shopify API is going to limit the number of orders that we can get at any one time. Um, and you can change this to up to 250 by using the, on the end of your API URL here, ampersand limit equals and then 250. Um, if you need to get more than 250, you can check out the documentation for details on pagination. I won't go into that in this video for brevity's sake. Um, but yeah, so just for future reference, if you want to change that, you would just pray, say limit equals 250. So next, let's say, for example, uh, we want to get the customer data. We can do that by clicking add new. As we did at the beginning of the video, I would suggest going back to um, our article here uh, because it's very well put together and grabbing that base URL just to use as our template. Um, change your shop name. Uh, and then inside of the Shopify API documentation, you'll want to go to customer API and then click here on customer. And then now once we're loaded in, you can see there's a couple of examples that we can uh, use to get started. Let's just go ahead and start with this first one. We want to just get a master list of all the customers. So we can head there to this uh, endpoint and we can go and snag that by copying and then pasting it here on the end. And then we will also need to get that X Shopify access token from here in the getting started part of the documentation. Um, then we'll need to go back and get our password. So you can copy this and put it somewhere else. Just make sure you don't share it with anybody else. It's, you know, it's an auto generated password, but uh, they will have access to your account um, if they get a hold of that. Um, so yeah, once we have all this information in, we can create a new sheet and, oh, I just created two. And we can call this something like customers, for example, and then we'll set the current sheet and then we'll give it a similar name for simplicity's sake. And then we'll save and run it. And momentarily, we should see our sheet populate with all the customers. Bingo, there's my Armando Pool and Laura Garcia. By the way, these are all fake people, so don't worry about daily privacy issues. Um, yeah, so fantastic. Great, so the last thing we'll cover is pulling the products into Google Sheets. Um, so let's go ahead and start by creating a new sheet and we'll call it products, for example. And then we'll want to head back over to our manage requests and then we'll start a new one as before. Same thing, uh, head back to our wonderful documentation, grab the base URL, paste it in here. And then we'll head back to Shopify's API and we'll want to get products here below. All right, so we'll click on this product endpoint. And again, we'll just start here with the simplest. We'll, we'll click here on the products and then We'll go ahead and just snag that whole endpoint. We'll paste it here on the end of our API URL. Uh, we'll want to go back and get our headers. So from the documentation page, we'll grab the access token header, paste it in, and then we'll go back over here to our admin API password, copy that, paste it in here in value, and then we should be good to go. We'll just need to make sure we set our current sheet and then give it an appropriate name save and run and next thing you know you'll get an error that's okay so it says not found um do i have products in my store ah i need to change my shop name no worries yeah so anytime you have issues with api connector make sure you make use of the the debugger at the bottom it's very useful for catching small errors like that so we'll save and run and then momentarily, we should have all of our products. There's all my paintings and my apples and bananas. So uh, one word of caution is that when you're using the Shopify API, they do update their API on a quarterly basis, as you can see here by choosing the API version. Um, try to stick with the latest version. Um, 
and there might be small changes in this video over the future. So if there are, you can always drop us a question on Reddit. You can check out the documentation on our website uh, or you can leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer that for you. Thanks. Have a good one.